guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. I almost did it again, but we got through it. So, uh, we're going to be playing Going Medieval, and then we should probably start uh, considering getting some animal feed uh, set up for the cow uh, that takes uh, 10 hay and 20 vegetables. Wait, 20 vegetables? Uh, yeah, 20 vegetables. So that will produce one, but it gives us like 30 animal feed, so that's a pretty good amount. I think that will last quite a bit a long time for, um, you know what, let's tell him to finish doing that so we can get that set up and we can finally structure something out. Um, so yeah, today basically I want to work on uh, getting that wall set up. And apparently he's just working on that at the moment, but there's the few remaining walls around here. Uh, there's that one, that little one over there, and this one over here, which it looks like we are getting prepped for. So that's good. Uh, we got the parts down for the ramps. Uh, the only ramp is over here where the gate is, and there's one over here, so, and I think there's a few over on this side as well, so, one at least, two, three, so there's quite a few, actually, and, uh, yeah, so basically when we get the thing built, what we're gonna do is we're going to start working on building some houses and stuff like that, but the priority right now is just to get a decent amount of, uh, stuff prepped, um, but yeah, so I think our dog, oh, our dog's actually sleeping inside this time, but on our fire pot <laughs> or a campfire or whatever it's called. I don't know. I can't click on the campfire because he's in it. <laughs> oh, now I can. Okay, there we go. Um, animal feed one. Yeah, so we'll, we'll craft up maybe two of these and we'll zone that over here for animal feed. Uh, we want fodder, animal feed, and that should be good enough. So we should have an, quite a bit of hay. We have 200 here. Um, is that spoiling by any chance? Never, no. So those will be good for a while. Uh, we should probably stock up on some though. Uh, we'll see if we can't find some grass or something around here that we can harvest up. Oh, there's some over here that we can get. So we'll select. Actually, no, I don't know why I do that. You can just click that tool and then select harvest and it'll do the exact.
Alrighty then. So we got um, a couple issues currently. Uh, the first issue is those uh, pole cats are coming in and eating our animal feed. Um, at the moment, they're not uh, doing it, but I had to kill like one of them because there was like they're coming in. There was like two of them that were hovering around here. They can go th apparently through fences. So, uh, just something to keep in mind. I, I know that foxes can do that as well, so we'll have to keep our eye open for uh, that kind of thing until we can... Yeah, there's one right up here at the moment. Not sure where he's about to go. Probably to our animal feed because he's come down. Looks like he has intent. Oh, no, he's going that way. He's just going this way. Who knows where he's going? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so basically, um, I've been harvesting resources around here just to stock up on, uh, things like food and stuff, and, uh, we have some mushrooms over here that we can pick up in the morning, um, there's some other things that I've basically put around, uh, there's some seeds over here that we need to pick up that I know, and, yeah, I was just basically told them to harvest a whole bunch of stuff that we will need for get us through the winter and stuff so that'll be important and as long as we have fodder we should be fine but uh, that requires a lot of um, barley and I did plant more barley so we have more barley um, but it's, it's um, going to take some time to grow so we're in summer day one so we have one season uh, seven days until these grow and then Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more, and then we'll be able to start stocking, stockpiling on fodder, and we'll have enough for the winter. So we have like 90, 200 here and 200 there. Those won't spoil ever. Just telling us that it's summer. Then we have like 94 here. So we got quite a bit, uh, but I'm not sure if it will pull us through all the way. We only have like one animal though, so it's not too bad. Um, outside of that, uh, the wall's doing good. We've got some parts built. They started working on this side here. And I'm not sure how we're doing on wood inside. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of wood inside, so that's not an issue. Uh, we should probably get them. Uh, one of these people. Yeah, she's going down here, so that's perfect. Uh, hauling to stockpile. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell her to... Just move that, and then we can put that stuff over here.
Alrighty then, so we got a wall finally finished. Uh, it's all built now, so we have a little bit more protection. Uh, we, there was one raid that happened. Uh, we actually were really fortunate because in the past, uh, when I had resource like re re uh, workstations like this, uh, what they ended up doing was they ended up just going into the buildings if they couldn't get to the settlers, and they ended up uh, destroying all the workstations and uh, more advanced things. So I'm not sure if they uh, removed that feature or whatnot, but they didn't bother going into either one of these uh, buildings. They just kind of huddled around here uh, waiting for us to come out, which is very fortunate that time around. Um, thankfully, we have our wall built, so we can easily just stockpile on wood here now, and <clears throat> uh, we can barricade the door. Uh, as we need so that's good um, outside of that we can start focusing on some houses I want to get some houses built uh, to kind of sep like have our settlers a little bit more happy so we need to kind of figure out what we're going to do for how we're gonna have everything built now this is obviously going to be eventually just like a chapel area uh, we'll have one chapel upstairs and we'll have one chapel downstairs uh, eventually we'll kind of branch out um, our workstations like we'll build a proper library and stuff like that. I think the library could go probably in this corner or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure out a spot for it. But um, our trees are growing slowly, which is good. They're not getting, these ones aren't getting as much light anymore because the other ones are pretty tall. But they do get, uh, I think, some sunlight in the morning. So it, it's, it will work out, I guess. Um, as far as if they're ready or not, they're still growing. So... And I'm just telling them to chop down some of these other trees around here as well so they are um, they can get some of the wood and hopefully our dog can go out and get the wood and stuff. Uh, or our settlers, that would be probably more ideal if our settlers could do it. Let's tell him to go back there and grab some of these resources. Actually, there's quite a stuff, bunch of stuff that needs to be brought over, I think. So we'll see if we can't grab some of these wood and other things. Okay, so the other cleaning up that. Uh, yeah, and I ended up having to like take most of the population of the polecat. There was a whole bunch of them that were around in here, and I just like waited until they slept, and then I just took them all out. So uh, we should have a little bit more food now that our wall is built as well. So we'll see if we can't get all these. Actually, where did all the polecats go? Uh, maybe he chopped them up already. Let's check our food storage. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know really where... <laughs> what, what happened to them. I can't... <laughs> Alright, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got the wall uh, situated and we 
got rid of a bunch of pests uh, that were trying to take over livestock food. Uh, and we made more livestock food, so we have like close to 50 now. And I started working on a, another settler's house. So I, I've kind of planned out the area just with a uh, empty um, stockpile. So I know how big I need the structure to be. And then I just basically start building it so I know where everything needs to go and stuff like that. So we'll probably end up putting another one uh, roughly around in this area eventually. We'll leave some spaces of green spaces so we can put like small farms or something in there or maybe some trees or something just to decorate the area a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we'll be doing in these areas, but uh, we'll try to space out a little bit of a gap so we have some extra buildable area if we need for other things, but we'll see how that goes. Um, outside of that, uh, what I wanted to do was I think we'll start expanding this way for the farm. We'll probably build an actual farm in this general area and maybe, I don't know. I haven't really considered where we, we need to put the farm yet. I, I, we'll, it, it was probably good to keep it where there's a lot of sunlight and stuff, but um, at the moment, this is doing us just fine, so I'm not too worried about it. I told them not to grow any more barley, though, because it does take a while to grow, and I'm not sure how long if we would have enough for winter, so it's best to make sure that we have um, everything prepped for winter when we have that come. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.